Hello everybody, how are we doing? Welcome to another edition of Craft Beer Inn. This time we're arriving at the station of Newport. And I've got the platform wrong straight away. It looked like I was over there, but I'm not, I'm over here. Uh, so here's the doors. We're gonna get off the train, we're gonna have a look at Newport. I'm gonna be meeting, I'm gonna be meeting uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Arthur Daly. Wave, wave bye bye to the train. Uh, yeah, I'm meeting a good friend called Arthur Daly today. He's got a fantastic history of brewing, certainly in Wales. And he lives in Newport, so I thought to myself, let's speak to Arthur, see if he wants to join me today. And yeah, here we are, here we are. So um, I'm going to go and find him, and I'll catch up with you guys in a moment. So here we are, the legend the Welsh Brewing, that is Arthur Daly. How are we doing, Arthur? Right. You alright? I watched yeah. a video of yours recently. Uh, craft beer guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer we, we, we got to keep uh, doing a few more of those. So, um... Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we're outside the Admiral building, so I think what we'll do is um, talk a little bit about where we're going today. The history of Newport and its brewing. Was it a big brewery here? There were plenty of big breweries here. We used to have um, Lloyds and Yorith, which is now a shopping centre. Um, at the back of that, there was a Phillips office, which is yeah. now the car park, I think. And down by the cattle market, we used to have Phillips actual brewery there. So Fantastic. There were quite a large brewery, breweries in Newport. Right. Um, Lloyds and Yorith ended up taken over by Ansells. Uh, Phillips went into the Courage Simmons and the Courage Empire. So, yeah. Um, it did, so in the 90s, a lot of the pubs were either Courage or Ansel's that I like to make. So there wasn't much choice around then. Okay, okay. Right, let's get, let's, let's have a little walk. Let's get going. Okay, so this one is now a shopping centre with, with Tesco's on the one side. Uh, lots of sway left buildings on the left hand side. Lloyd and Yorris, Arthur? Lloyd and Yorris Brewery was actually here. Right, so, so that was a big brewery that was here in 1947? 1947-48 is when we got taken over by Ansells. Ansells, um, right. It was demolished shortly afterwards. Um, I mean, in the 70s, 80s, I remember this as just an open-air parking space. It looked like a bomb site, but it wasn't. Fantastic. So, there was a lot of beer being drunk in Newport at the time then. Yes. Is there still a lot of beer being drunk today? Um, by me and Tiny Rebel, yes. <laughs> I would say, especially last night. So, yeah. Right. Fantastic, fantastic. Coincidentally, how far would it take, how, how long would it take us to get to Tiny Rebels a day if we had time? Three minutes. Oh, the brewery? Yeah. Oh, the brewery's in Rogerstone now. Yeah, so, the, big, the big one um, on a bus or something. Well, on the a... bus, probably half an hour. But... We'll see if we got time. We'll right. see how it, our day's going. But it's a really nice brewery, Tiny Rebel. Might be worth checking out if we, well, yeah, if, if we got time. We've so, got yeah. a tap house to try it, maybe corner. Oh, right, okay, so we'll go, we'll go we, there. We got a totally double pub in New York, try yeah. yeah, fantastic. Okay, so that was a, that was a big brewery there in, uh, in Newport, Lloyd's. This bit's really, really interesting. Take it away, Arthur. We have a castle in the background. Look at this. So this is Newport Castle, dates from the 1300s. Um, but in the 1800s, early 1800s, it was used as a brewery. So the middle tower and the north tower there. Coming out here, there was a brewery, Saw and Heron Brewery, got taken over by Lloyd's and the Orris. And that was the brewery on Cambrian Road. Fantastic. So, I, I, isn't it amazing? Is, is there any recollection? Is there anything left in that building to suggest that there was a brewery in there? Not the brewery. They demolished all the old... Um, when they put the new road through in the 1970s, they did demolish the North Wall and the, the remains of the brewery there. Fantastic. So what is being reconstructed here was the actual castle. Um, I mean, this bit had a roof on it up until the 1900s right okay so that was taken down because it wasn't original so what they've tried to do is restore it as original and um, if, if we walk up this bank a little bit you can see that unbelievably they in the 1960s you say 1960s, 1970s. they'd knock some of the castle walls down to build a fly uh, a flyover yeah, for the cars to go by yeah. and that would have been part of the brewery um, the brewery would have extended this way, yeah. It was a, quite a tall tower brewery. And, um, yeah, I'd say that was the north wall of the castle and they demolished that. And if we spin round, hopefully, sorry. If we spin round this direction, we're, we'll probably hear the ambulance in a moment. The road, you were telling me the road continued from here 
this direction. Yeah, towards the castle. So, and this was King's Road. The, the, that, that's the King's Hotel. So this was High Street coming off the castle here. So where those pant, pant plots were, that was the castle pub. There. So that was demolished in the 1960s. So a big pub called the Castle Pub. Yeah. Right next to this wonderful castle. Yeah. It's marvellous how they managed to get planning permission to, to build all of these link roads about where this castle is now. Well, if you're Unbelievable. If you're a council, you can demolish what you like. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. We're still filming. I mean, the most notable feature of the castle is the water gate. Now, right. the only other water gate in a uh, medieval castle is, of course, the Tower of London. Right. So what would that have been predominantly used for? Well, well arriving by ship. I mean, um, oh, arrive right. by ship and then have your boat take you and bring you in here. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, so into this little part here. Fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful day in Newport for this, the sun's shining. We're gonna have our first pint of the day, but what's interesting is there's a little bit of a battle here, Arthur, between who's the oldest bar in Newport. Yeah, the Carpenter's claim, Carpenter's Arms claims to be the oldest, um, but this history only goes back to 1800s, possibly 1700s. Um, the Moringer there, that goes back to 1500s. 1500s. So upstairs, there's the moulded plaster ceiling with the Tudor roses and the, um, I think it's a pomegranate or pineapple of Aragon. So Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII married, oh, 1510. Right. So if you're going to put that sort of moulding on, um, it's probably the earliest. It was built as a townhouse of the um, Herberts, I think, the local landowner family. Right. And it became a pub. We've got it listed called the Fleur de Lis in the 1700s. Yeah. So, um, Let's have a look. It also nearly fell down. Did it? So in the 1970s, it broke its back. The scaffolding propping it up. Yeah. And Samson bought it and repaired it. That's incredible, so, isn't it? They've spent millions on that building. Yeah. Um, it's a long term investment, you know. Uh, it's not something you're going to get back overnight with millions when you spend on the building. I, I think that is fantastic history because it, it really does stand out from anything else that's around here, doesn't it? I mean, it's the only really. typical frame building in, in, in Newport. So. I tell you what re it reminds me of. And, and you might think the same, is is the Rummer Tavern in Cardiff. It's got yeah, that sort the, the, of... The Rummer is, is not Tudor. Oh, is it? This and, is actual yeah. Tudor. Right, OK. And on the um, 1610 John Speed map, we've actually got an empty space where the Rummer would have been. So we know it, it wasn't there in 1610. Right. Right, so right. Who is Tudor? More is, whereas this is more real. This is a real Tudor pub. We'll get in there in a moment. Hopefully it's... Well, it might not be open. Might not, well, I mean, we'll always swing. We can edit the video so, so we can... the manager come. who was on that um, pub sign... Yeah. He was the tax collector responsible for collecting tax on the town walls. Right, OK, let's have a look. There he is, the famous tax collector. The old marriage house. That's what it means then, is yes. it? Right, OK. Well, it's terrific. I suppose what we can do is gauge... I mean, you, you've only got to look at this, really, avenue to see just how lovely and kind of old that is. Proper old timber building. Yeah. So, what is the carpenters just over here? What is their claim? How are they claiming that it's they an older building? Back to 1400, but there's no records of it. Um, there are records of pubs in Newport in the 1300s. Yeah. None of them mentioned the Carpenter's Arms, so yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't strike me as it, a. It's an, I mean, it's a 19th century building. Yes. It wasn't by wine merchants called Dovehills, um, so it wasn't always a pub. Right. So we're just approaching now. This this this, this building here doesn't strike me as being as old as no, it's not the old Moringer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And beer wise, it looks like it's full of Amstel and that well, sort of thing. They've got Paul in there, haven't they? They've got Paul in there, have they? Yeah. Um, it's, it's run by John Bassett, who's got Queen's Vaults in Cardiff. Oh. The Bassett Pub Company. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, have a look. Let's go and have a look. I just feel like a Paul in a vice. I absolutely could do with a Paul and a vice beer now. So here's the Carpenters in Newport. Oh, look at this. We will have 
a couple of pints of Paul Nut. Oh, and they got Felon Fall, Felon Fall IPA. Fantastic, let's have a pint. So, there's a little look at the city centre, and here is this wonderful, absolutely wonderful pub. I've got, I'm just gonna, there we go, we're in shot. I got a, I went for a pint of the bitter. What did you go for, Arthur? I went for the pure brew lager. Mm -hmm. This is the second day, I just can't manage a pint of bitter today. Yeah. I've also got a stinking hangover. A <laughs> stinking hangover. So what's the, what's the lager like? Any Very good. I mean, it sounds like it's got the old lager plant there. Uh, they used to brew a German lager under license there. Okay. Inga Brow used to brew under license. Oh. So, yeah, that contract finished. And um, now all I Inga is um, actually brewed in Germany, but they have the lager plants on them. They, they made their own recipes for it. Fantastic, fantastic. And I've got their bitter, which was three, four, was it? Yeah, yeah, the lager's five. The lager's five, so I'm going to get in here. Here's the bitter. Looks really good. Now, uh, we couldn't record in the the, the the pub just there where we had the pole in it, because they had, they had music playing. So it was a bit of a shame, even outside they had music playing. So, a um, bit of a shame, but the pole in it was really good. Um, I'm really interested to try this, because they don't bottle this one, do they? It's just no, cask no, only. Just cask. Mm. And it's in 18s and it's wood. So 18 gallons. Really? Yeah, and it's wooden cask. Oh, right. So every week the drape on Tadcast that comes to home, no you way. can see the wooden barrels being offloaded here. That's, that's absolutely incredible. So, like, like things haven't changed for a number of years? No. <laughs> <laughs> but which is a good thing, I suppose. I mean, they do that spingo beer, don't they? Uh, um, and some of the staves on the oak there are over 100 years old. Because really? it's just reused. Uh, yeah, you know, to foul something wrong with it, just take it apart and make it again. Don't you? So right. the staves can be used over and over again. That's unbelievable. unbelievable. Well, this is alright. It's got a real. Yeah, it's quite a sweet multi beer. Mm. Yeah. Um, if I remember. Yeah. Quite nutty as well. Yeah. Almost kind of heading towards a nut brown ale. Good yes. Yorkshire beer. Of course, Sam Smiths are independent. Independent brewery. Um, we would have. <laughs> I I don't know how to approach it to be honest. Um, they, they've got some funny policies, haven't they? Yeah, traditional. We, we, could, we could actually film inside here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So instead, we sat outside the building, which is fine. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. Um, but fantastic pub. If you have a new pub, Moringer is the one to go to. Definitely. If you want to know about the name, it comes from the um, tax collector who was responsible for the upkeep of the town walls. And Murridge was a old tax for that. Um, not that town walls in Newport were any good because it got burnt down four times in the 1300s. So, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, great old building. Um, and not too far from the castle where we were earlier, just yeah. around the corner. Yeah, it's on the high street here, so if you have a Newport, please to visit. I think it's a fantastic place. I've never actually, and I'm, I'm, I'm only half an hour away, I've never actually had a good drink in Newport. This is the first time, and this is lovely quiet. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad well, thing. Well, I think with the high street being quiet, isn't that so good, you know. Uh, they've got the new market redevelopment happening. Um, yeah. You know, there's lots of things going on in Newport, so hopefully people will start shopping again. Uh, Absolutely. And there might be, there might be a craft beer bar in, in the market there, so we might have a little look at the market later on. Yeah. And, and, and t where we're going to go next is, is Wales's oldest weather spoons. Yeah. Wales's oldest weather spoons. Yeah. So that's what we'll probably have a little look at next. Um, whether we just take some photographs in there or if it's quiet enough to film a video, we'll do a quick video in there. But, um, it's normally screaming kids running around everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Do you mind if I get this lag up to the camera? It yeah. looks fantastic. Great lacing. Great carbonation. That looks like you know German German quality lag right there. What's it taste like? Sweet, malty. It's everything you want in a lager. 
Absolutely. Would you say Pilsner? Pilsner style, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll move on to the next pub. Cheers. So Arthur, this is a really interesting one. This is Wales's first and oldest right, Weatherspoons so, pub. Yeah, it's opened in about 97, 98, maybe 96, sometime like that. Originally called Weatherspoons, and then there was a local campaign to rename it after Newport's only VC holder, okay. um, John Wallace Linton, who lost right. his life in submarine command that okay. in the Second World War. Uh, that's what it is. Oldest weather spoons in Wales. Oldest weather spoons in Wales. Let's have a look. So, what was this? What was this building before? Before weather spoons? Is um, it a I, pub or? It was a nightclub called the French Connection. Oh which right. Was <laughs> okay. Half was a retail unit. So um, behind that hoarding there, is it a beer garden behind there yeah, or? No. I don't think there's anything behind there. Right. Okay. So the only outside area is what you see here. That might be, I, I suppose we'll go in, grab a pint, and I suppose our, our best bet would be to come and yeah, sit know. here and uh, have a pint. So the John Wallace Linton, Wales's oldest weather spoons. Let's get in and have a look. Here are, the, here are the Cascales, and straight away I'm gonna, probably either going to go with an Offer Bright or a Gold Beacons, I reckon. And I've got a good bottle selection as well, yeah. So I've got a pint of Offer Bright, 4.3% ABV, and it's got a bottle of Elvis juice, pretty good. Uh, but the interesting thing, I'm going to flip the camera on now and zoom in, is Arthur's just pointed out, this building here, Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer into this. Just, just got it in. It's the Newport and South Wales. That there, that sign up the top. And that goes back to the Victorian times. Yeah. Fantastic. It's a pub called the New Found Out. The New Found Out. Um, closed in the 1970s. Wow, and now it's uh, looked like an old William Hill or something. <laughs> something like that. Down below now, but yeah, that would have been a pub years ago. Fantastic bit of history. Just finished a couple of beers at Weatherspoons. We are making our way now to the Lamb. Now, we got no idea what to expect in this pub. No idea whatsoever. What are you expecting, Arthur, from the Lamb? I'm not sure. Um... I haven't been here since it's reopened. It's an Ethan Tappins pub. Yeah. Um, a few years ago it was pre-Atai. Uh, they made the Atai back on, I'm not sure. I've been closed for a while. Okay. It's always nice to see, um, when, when you see a pub close and reopen, it's always nice to see that kind of, what what they've done to it. What, what they've, you know, have they, have they made it a better place? Are they serving food, maybe? Yeah, well, when that all did a refurb a few years ago, they moved the kitchen upstairs, so they started doing food. But I don't know, were there new people in there? Do you, do you know the age of the building? Oh, it's 19th century. It is, it is Victorian. Yeah, it is Victorian. Yeah. Victorian, Victorian place. Tiles. I mean, from, we're not quite close enough, but it does have tiles. I mean, it's glazed tiles. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I can just about see with my eyes, yeah. We'll have a look. Get in there. I got to be honest, though, on a personal perspective, I'm, I'm enjoying Newport. Yeah. I mean, everything's on the flat. There's no yeah. hills to well, climb. We will be going to one on a slight hill soon. But, okay. Uh, so here we go. Let's get in. This is the lamb. Let's go and see what they got. Fifty pence for pool all day breakfast till four p.m. Hi. How you doing? Pool table. Okay. Are you going to be having anything in the cocktail? Uh, we haven't got our delivery in yet, just yet. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Oh, well, that was a bit of a shame. Let's go on to the next pub. Where are we going next, Pen Arthur? The Pen and Wig. Okay, so, Arthur, we are at the Pen and Wig. This looks nice. So, this uh, started off as the Georgian restaurant in the 1980s. Okay. Uh, before then, it was the registry office. There's, there's been a few other things. And got concluded, I think, in the late 1980s as the Pen and Wig. That, that's amazing because... For as lo that building look has looked well, it looks like a pub. It looks like it's been a pub forever. Yeah. The way they've done it. Yeah. Oh, fab! Books in the window. So, um, how many? What? Maybe six lines of cascale, maybe in here. Um, I think there are a few. We normally find some independent beers. Oh well, uh, let's get in and have a look. Roman Catholic Church. So. Oh, my family are Roman Catholic. So okay. For the Perfect. last 150 years, they've used that church. And the, we were just talking about not climbing a hill. Uh, you may not see it on camera, but that is definitely yeah, a, a, a bit, of a, bit of a hill coming up. It's all the way up to the cathedral up there, so it's quite steep. Right. Uh, club and function room, the pen and wig. Let's get, let's get in here. Let's see what they've got. Lovely. Oh, nice low ceilings. Looks like they got a grill. Bit of a pizza oven going on. Fam. Regular beers here. And then we have Tudor Brewery, uh, Jester Brew, uh, Glamorgan Brewery. Tembi Harbour. I'm a big fan of Tembi Harbour. And a rare outlet for Bass. Which I, have, I was just about to say, I've not seen Bass in donkey shoes. Who? I mean, is that contract brew these days? Marston's brew it. Marston's brew it, okay. It still has to be brewed in Burton on Trent. Right. So I think AB and Bev own the trademark. But right. They don't own a brewery in Burton, so. Okay. Um. I'm probably going to try that. Black Mountain, I think so. That might be the. What, what are you going to go for? Yeah. Yeah, get a bass in. But yeah, this is this is the pen and wig in Newport. This place has a beer garden. So here's a stout. Sorry. By the way, you still owe me. Oh, you got to uh, Stuff's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good mouthfeel. A little bit of caramel. Roasted mouth. Good mouthfeel. What's the bass, bass like, Arthur? Oh, it's very good. I haven't had a bass for ages. You know, you don't see it in the pub centre. So I finally get a decent one in the bass. What's, what's the deal? Have they got to brew it? Like if Marston's got to try and get it as close as it, close as it was previously? Yeah, I mean, the big shame is Marston's aren't going into the union system. Right. Um, um, they've got the union system there yeah, in Marston's yeah. brewery, the last one left behind. Right. right. It's just a little bit over the bass. Because a lot of people think bass went downhill in the 1970s when oh they stripped out the um, union system and yeah. put in a comical fermenter. Right, OK. But um, it's quite not brilliant like bass used to be. I mean, I've not had a pint for years. I, mean, I think that actually I'm untapped in my like, new one. <laughs> really? A pint of bass? Because I've not had it for about 12 years. Mm. Yeah. It is a real, it is fantastic. I, I you know, I've, I, to be honest with you, at this stage, I've ordered a bowl of chips just to keep me going. Next pub, the Alexandra Rumney Brewery. Rumney Brewery, Newport's newest pub. It only opened last year. Okay, so, fantastic. Got the old Rumney Brewery hobby all sign outside. That's from the original Rumney Brewery. Right, let's zoom in on that. Yeah, the hobby horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The Alexandra, are we going in? We're going in, let's go in. <laughs> All right. Right, 
Here we are, Tiny Rebel. When did this open, mate? Oh, would you ask me a difficult question? Um, <laughs> it was a few years ago. It used to be a charity shop here. Um, I think Burger King were here for a while. They've knocked it through into one. Yeah. Um, it looks nice. Yeah. Decent place. It originally opened under temporary event notice before they had full planning for it. So okay. It was, uh, yeah. Let's get in. They always got the city centre site, so... And now they got one. Let's get in. Let's get in. And there's one more pub after this. Where are we going after this? Further up there. Further, <laughs> further up there. <laughs> right. Oh, they got some contact for you, beers. There we go. Right. So, here we are. At Tiny Rebel drinking Headband Pale Ale by Verdant. What do you think, Arthur? Oh, I love it. I love everything by Verdant. Yeah. They love their hops. I love my hops. And I've never had a bad beer for them. It's really good, isn't it? Really good, really good. And I've got to say, it's been such a lovely, relaxed day. You know, if you went to Cardiff right now in the city centre, it'd be peaceful everywhere. This is just been and the, and the sun's followed us what happened haven't it yeah yeah we were in the ship and the sun over there we've had a wonder rain the sun's come back over here so yeah brilliant it's nice so this is tiny rebel fire um, it opened a couple of years ago i imagine a few years ago yeah a few years ago there's lots of beer on tap really worth visiting uh, with a few beers in this is lovely lots of carriage as well so, mm. you know probably best beer range in new no, it is know. the best beer right now. Yeah. So have you been out to their main brewery? No, I haven't yet. Which, oh, yeah, I know. It's just I'm not going back in Newport that often. Mm. Um, mm. When I am back in Newport, I'm in here. So yeah. I'm, yeah, if I go to the brewery, then got the tap I'll, house. I've got the tap house here. So, so yeah. Arthur works in the cider industry, if we haven't mentioned it already. Uh, I'm from Newport. I live yeah. in Newport. Yeah. I just spend a lot of time in Herefordshire. Brewing, brewing cider, or making not cider. Making, making, cider. making, yeah, 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 making cider. Um, <laughs> but Arthur's going to do Bristol with me. So if you've got any suggestions on where, I mean, we got our own ideas of where to go in Bristol. But if you've got your own suggestions where to go in Bristol, comment down below. Let us know because. Craft beer in Bristol is the next stop. Is the next stop. Is the beer keller still open in Bristol? Sorry to put you on the spot. No idea. Mm. Was it any good? Um, I just think that pollen and we had was the taste of, of. Yeah, I mean King Street. I just get lost on King Street. Yeah. yeah. That area in King Street is known as the beer Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. You know, people just get lost going around. Absolutely fantastic. There's some cellar bars there, aren't there? Yeah. Um, cellar bar. I mean, you, know, you don't even get around the street there, do you? No. You no. know, fantastic Fuller's pub as well. Uh, short walk Is Yeah, I'm a big fan of Fuller's. So. Me too, me too. I'm a big fan of Fuller's. And uh, there's a brew dog there, so, I mean, that's everything. Without, that's a lot of pubs without even thinking about them. I mean, uh, I mean, today, how many hours? Uh, this is four and a half hours we've been filming. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we're going to have to shorten it to half an hour. Third part, aren't we? So when someone told me in the comments that once you go to Bristol and the bigger cities, you're going to start having to allocate. You're going to have to start booking to hotels and do it over two days. I reckon we can do Bristol in a day. If we, we do Bristol in a day. Well, yeah. It's like five minutes from you for on the train. Right? Yeah. So it's now a ten minutes for you, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we do Bristol in a day. Um, we're staying in the city centre. We're not going that far. Off. No. Uh, get on the water. Water buses, yeah. See the, the old bass pubs and yeah, the old bass brewery. No, it was Courage. Cur Courage, Courage brewery. Brewery. The old Courage Brewery. Yeah. Yeah. We got one more pub. This is not a goodbye though. We got one more pub to go to. Where is it? Lee pub. The Lee. We're going to go to the Lee pub. Have one more pint. And well, we really hope you've enjoyed Newport. And we really hope that you come here and have a beer. Next up, the Lee pub. Okay, this is um, Lee Public Space, which started off as Lee Pub, which was elsewhere in Newport. 
Um, this was a pub called The Page at one time, and before that, it was a local newspaper. So it was, uh, I guess, it was their offices. Ah, cool. That's what the building was originally. Look at that. I mean, what I found so impressive about Newport is the grandeur of the buildings. The building over there, building there, everything has kind of grandeur to it. The the old Moringa house there, everything. Look, you're looking at that and you're thinking, it's a lot of good art. you could be any, you could be anywhere, couldn't you? You yeah. really could be anywhere. Yeah. Um, so bar, music, art, film, food, and community. Yeah, and this is probably the biggest range of craft beers in Newport because they got lots of cans in there. They got Beaver Town on tap. So what we'll do, we'll go in, we'll get a beer, and we will come outside and review it. Because unfortunately, this music, I can hear the music from here. So yeah, let's get in, get a beer, come outside and review it. This is the finisher. This is the final video of Real Ale Craft Beer, Half a Daily, Brew Wales in Newport. And we're going for a canopy, limited edition, Run Wild XBA, 4% ABV, ALL, would you say this was? Yeah, it's looking rock pale here. Yeah. Let's let's crack mine open. So it's a London brewery, SE24, so Okay. No idea where SE24 is, but it's Southeast 24 somewhere. So I've always liked to blog my day and, and being honest about my day. Like Arthur's bulletproof. I've had to stop for chips and and paracetamol. <laughs> paracetamol, yeah. <laughs> and Arthur's like you yeah, know, like going. carry on without yeah, yeah. without yeah, any okay. chips or any paracetamol. I've been like, yeah, I've been medding myself up for this. Um, but that's just, I think that's just a normal thing to say in a vlog these days. And how's your day going? Yeah. But they, they, there's the there's the beer canopy limited edition, Run Wild XBA, four percent ABV, based in London. Looks good, nice and hazy. Yeah. Two finger straw coloured head. Well, we are going for food after this, but we're not going to film that. We're not going to film us going to the Indian or the Chinese or whatever we decide to go to. There's no it's... Chinese range here anymore. So yeah. <laughs> it's this Indian. Is... Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely the last video. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Nice stuff with the carbonation. Looks good. Should we get the aroma? Yeah. Proper beer review this one. I'll try some to make way for the uh, itchy. Mm. Wheat malt. Yeah, let's try this. Bitter, slightly lemony. That's lovely. Yeah. That is lovely. That yeah. is a real walk around Newport all day, seeing the sights. It's just a lovely four percent pale ale, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Sit back in your chair, relax, lovely, really nice. As I have said, peachy, I get a bit of tangerine, yeah, yeah, nice and hoppy. Great. Wheeling them around in wheelbarrows or, or walking sticks. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I should say. <laughs> It's called a dole pole around you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see a motorized scooter, that's a Scamagini. Look, don't tell my wife. Don't tell my wife. I'm a big fan of big breasted women. And I've just seen a woman walk past with a stick with massive. Don't women. hold. Yeah. yeah don't yeah. hold. Yeah. And and my, my, my thing is um, rolling around in wheelbarrows, you know. <laughs> Right, I got you now. Yeah, that's yeah, my. Yeah, yeah. That's my. Uh, anyway, some people like legs, some people like bums. Please don't um, judge me. We're at the end of a lovely evening. <laughs> um, this is good. Yeah. This is good. Really good. So um, I, I, I oats and wheat. Up to recently, I never heard of Canopy Brewery. I had for their beers. I didn't like the elderflower one. Okay. Then again, I don't like elderflower, mm. but I tried it because all the other beers were good. So. Canopy um, Citizen Zoo, so we a lovely label as well, and a great beer that uh, you should write off on. Wonderful. He's Thank already you. finished. I'm already finished. Thanks for watching Craft Beer in Newport. I really hope you like the episode. 
Uh, next up, Bristol. Bristol. We're gonna do it in a day. I thought you had enough of Bristol. I love big Bristol. You, you <laughs> love Bristol. I love Bristol. Yeah. We're going to Bristol. Um, we should be able to do it in a day. Now, just leaving this recording and, and just thinking about this, we came here at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, so the time now is 6 o'clock, so we've got seven hours filming around New Zealand. Seven it hours. Was, it wasn't rushed. No. It was very slow. We had a pint in every pub. So, I Enjoyed mean, ourselves. Yeah, a lot about the history. So, we can extend it if we want, make it slower, you know, bring it faster. Yeah, totally. But my question was, can we do Bristol in one day? What time will we have to hit Bristol? Bristol city centre we can do in one day. Right, okay. Because it's quite compact, you know, like Newport is. So, yeah, and we're only doing the best pubs. Yes, yes. So, what's Which that? is what six, you want. Six, seven pubs, yeah. is it? Yeah, Something like that. yeah. So we're only doing the best. We're not going further out than the city centre. No, no. So, that might be another episode, but yeah, of course. Yeah. You want to know where the best pubs are in Bristol city centre, so that's what we're going to concentrate on. Yeah. We'll do that in the day. Yeah. Okay, check us out at the Daily Real Ale Craft Beer in Bristol for episode four of Craft Beer In. Cheers. Bye.